was the worst and best year of my life. That might sound dramatic, but I think it's very true and very fitting for 2017. A lot of crazy, wonderful, great things happened and also a lot of bad things happened. It was a year of change, experiences, traveling. I am very glad that it happened, but I'm also very glad that it's over. So moving on into 2018, here's 17 things that I learned in 2017. Number one, everything happens for a reason. You literally can't change anything, so stop trying. I used to dwell on things that would happen and really beat myself up over things that happened, but I couldn't change. And I think the best that you can do is accept it, learn from it, and move on from it. That's it. Number two, what you put out in the world is what you're gonna get back. I am a firm believer in karma. I stand by it so much. And I believe how you treat others is how they're gonna treat you. If you put out positive vibes out in the world, you're gonna get positive vibes back. Do good, you'll receive good, basically. Number three, this is probably the biggest lesson that I've learned this year, and it took me 24 years to learn it, but it's being happy with yourself is the best thing you can do for yourself. Honestly, we are our worst enemy. And we, the way we talk about ourselves is just not okay. It needs, it needs, to, st it needs to stop. We're gonna talk to our best friends the way we talk to ourselves sometimes. And I just think it's very important to find happiness and content within yourself. And then like the rest of the world and everything, it'll all fall into place, trust me. Number four, sometimes there is more to a situation than you realize especially when it's not your situation and doesn't really have to do with you, um, don't jump to conclusions and don't assume things because you never know, you know? Number five, jazz hands. <laughs> you will never be younger than you are right now, so don't take life too seriously. If an opportunity comes and you're hesitant to taking it as long as it's a good opportunity, just live a little, take it. Number six, <laughs> Just because you have money doesn't mean you need to spend it. This is something I'm still trying to work on for sure, but I've gotten a lot better at this year. Seven, there is nothing a good sleep can't fix. I always say if you have a really big decision to make, if you are really upset over something, whatever it may be, calm down, go to bed, wake up, and your decision might be completely different from the day before. Sleep is a wonderful thing, so <laughs> take advantage of it, go to bed, think about whatever you have to think about when you wake up the next day, then you can make your decision. Number eight, do you shouldn't feel like you might be settling ever. If you're unhappy with a relationship, a job, a friendship, whatever it may be, and you really don't feel like you're getting your worth out of that thing, bye. <laughs> Honestly though, it's so easy. If you can change something, change. Number nine, it's okay to be single. Being by yourself is actually great. It is great to be in a relationship, a healthy, non-toxic relationship. Of course, it's really great to be in one of those. But it's also really, really great to be in a relationship with yourself and a good relationship with yourself and focusing on yourself. Bettering yourself so when you finally find that significant other, you are the best you that you can be. I think that's the best thing about life is that we are constantly changing and growing and working on ourselves and we can literally be somebody different five minutes. Number 10, nobody has their life together. Even though social media makes it seem like they do, nobody has their life together. None of us know what we're doing. Number 11, you should never apologize for your feelings. I always would be like, I'm sad, blah, 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 and I'm sorry I feel this way, but I'm sad. I'm angry at you right now, but I'm sorry I'm angry at you. And that's like, why are we apologizing for the way we're feeling? Obviously, there's a reason for why we're feeling these things, and we shouldn't have to apologize for the way that we're feeling. So that might just be a me thing, but... Number 12, it's never too late to take control of your life. Like I said before, you could literally be a different person in five minutes from now. Like we are always changing. And if you want to do something in your life, do it. Like there's no better time than the present.
take control of your life. For me, for instance, I finally decided I'm going back to school and I applied for the spring semester and I'm very excited about it. 13, do things that make you feel good. Going along with never settling. Honestly, like, just do things that make you feel good. I feel like there's a theme this year, but do things that make you feel good. Why do anything less? Number 14, and never take your friends for granted. Honestly though, like, spend as much time with your friends as you can. Number 15, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. If you don't like the way that someone's talking to you, how they're treating you, whatever it may be, tell them. Honestly though, you are worth so much more than being belittled. This is just something that I started working on this year, but really, like, don't be afraid to be blunt. Stand up for yourself, because you deserve it. Number 16, as long as it feels right to you, then it's right. You shouldn't let other people's opinions overpower your opinion, because your opinion is like the most important opinion, I think. And then it goes your mom and then whatever. But really, your opinion is the most important opinion. So as long as it feels good, you feel good with your decision, whatever that may be, then it's fine. 17. Hate to break it to you, but your parents are right 98% of the time. It's easier just to listen to them. What can you do, you know? Like, they've been on the planet for a lot longer than we have, so obviously they know something. So listen to your parents. All right, you guys, and there we have it. 17 things I learned in 2017. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more great videos coming out in 2018. This is gonna be our year. Our year. You know. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.